Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Governor Gretchen Whitmer admits Michigan is in a tough spot with the COVID surge, but she says we know how to fight back. The state reported almost 8,000 new cases Wednesday and 33 more deaths. Hospitalization rates are way up, and across the state, an average of about 18% of tests are coming back positive. The governor says the state is expanding the use of therapeutics to treat those who are sick. She is not calling for more restrictions, but she is urging Michiganders to do what works to stop the spread. That includes getting vaccinated first and foremost, masking up, socially distancing, avoiding large gatherings, and washing hands regularly. Well, the clock is ticking on extended unemployment benefits in Michigan. They run out at the end of the week and will not be payable after April 17th. The Labor Department says it's because Michigan's jobless rate has dropped below the eligible level. The state unemployment insurance agency says people receiving extended benefits may qualify for other pandemic programs. You may run into another big detour getting around Metro Detroit this coming weekend. MDOT is closing I-75 in both directions between 696 and 8 Mile Friday at 11. In addition to that, the highway will be down to one lane between 696 and 14 Mile Road. Crews are setting bridge beams on the Highland Avenue pedestrian bridge in Hazel Park. I-75 is expected to reopen Monday at 5 a.m. A generous donation honoring our veterans. Oakland County Executive Dave Coulter presented a $5,000 check to the Southfield Veterans Commission. The much needed money will be used for their food drive in May. The check was money left over from a COVID relief grant. The Veterans Commission had asked that more attention be paid to Southern Oakland County's needs. Here's meteorologist Hallie Vogel now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Colder air comes in tonight. Temperatures near freezing to the mid 30s and highs only in the upper 40s on Thursday. Snow or rain snow mix for the morning. A few rain showers for the afternoon, but Friday does look dry. A little milder, 57 for a high, near 60 this weekend.